Place the lanyard around your neck. Open the cover of the compass to a 20 to 40 degree angle so that you can see the face of the compass in the mirror while sighting on your target. Holding the compass in the palm of your hand or in your fingertips, raise it to eye level. Keep your elbows tucked against your side and this will aid in steadying the compass. Turn your entire body, moving your feet, not just the compass, until the desired object comes in line with the sight on the cover of the compass. Make sure to keep the compass level, both right to left and front to back. Align the sighting line etched in the mirror with the alignment points. One is usually located on the cover, just below the V sight, and the other is located near the back of the compass, near the latch on the base. The etched line should appear to run through the center of the compass face. This is usually more easily done with one eye closed. Turn the bezel until the red end of the needle lies within the red etched lines on the face of the compass and where the sides of the needle are parallel to those etched lines. Depending on the direction the needle is pointing, you may or may not be able to see both lines on either side of the needle. You may only see a line on one side. If so, be sure that line is parallel with the side of the needle. Check to make sure your compass is still level and that the sighting line on the mirror appears to run through the two reference points in the center of the compass capsule. Take the compass down and read the azimuth to the nearest degree at the arrow marked at the base nearest the hinge. That is your compass direction.